Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about five reasons why an engine overheats. In this video, I'll be going over five common reasons why an engine might overheat. Now, there are many causes of an engine overheating, but these are definitely five of the most common reasons behind it happening. Now, let's get right to it. Number one is a leak in the coolant system or the cooling system, I should say. So the cooling system is full of hoses and various components. And if there's a leak somewhere in the cooling system, then your car will be losing coolant fluid. And if your car doesn't have enough coolant fluid, then it can't actually get rid of the heat from the engine, which means that your engine is going to overheat. And it's actually one of the most common causes. Now, you should take a look for a leak and you should assess the leak to figure out if you can fix it yourself or if you should bring it to a mechanic. But definitely take a look around the various parts uh, of the various areas of the cooling system and just take a look for a leak. Number two, the second reason why an engine might overheat is a problem with the coolant fluid itself. Now, coolant fluid is, you know, is a mix and sometimes people have a bad mix of water to coolant. They have a bad ratio of water to coolant or they put the wrong coolant in and it can't do its job effectively. Now, this is rarely the case, but it's worth looking into. Just, you know, figure out what type of coolant that your car needs and ensure that that is the type of coolant or the right ratio or right mix that you're using. Number three is a problem with the radiator. Now, this is a common cause. Now, there are many problems that can occur with the radiator. Now, what I would recommend is just doing some research into some common radiator problems with the make and model and year of your car. Because if there's a problem with the radiator, it might actually be a common thing that it, you know happens with the make and model of car that you're driving. So do some research, further dive into it and see if the radiator might be the problem. Okay. The fourth reason why an engine might overheat is that the water pump is not working. So the water pump basically propels the coolant throughout the cooling system. And with that being said, if the water pump is broken or not working properly, even if it's working, but it's not working at 100% efficiency, then what might happen is the coolant is not going to be able to make its way through the cooling system. And therefore, it's not going to be able to get rid of the heat from the engine. And with that being said, it will cause the engine to start to overheat or to completely overheat. Last but not least, the fifth reason why an engine might overheat is that the hoses might be blocked. Now, like I said before, there are many components of a cooling system and hoses are one of the most crucial components. And if a hose is blocked or multiple hoses are blocked from dirt, from sediment, from anything, then it's a really, really potential cause. It's a pretty, pretty common and serious cause of a, of an engine that's overheating. So those are basically five common causes of an engine that's overheating. If you have an engine that's overheating, it's worth looking into these things. Now, I do have to say this, you really need to know what you're doing before you start touching any of the components of the cooling system. And you really need to be careful because with the cooling system, you know, the coolant can actually be like scorching, scorching hot. So with that being said, you really need to be careful. Do not touch your cooling system or do not start fooling around with the cooling system unless you know the necessary precautions. Definitely, definitely, definitely be careful. And if you're ever in doubt, if you don't know what you're doing 100% and bring it to a mechanic and just have the mechanic, a professional, assess what's going on. And that's basically it. In this video, I've told you about five common causes of an engine overheating. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. Has your engine overheated? What was the cause of it? How did you fix it? How did you repair the problem? Let me know down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.